Well, here it is all put together. I've not got all of the hardware on it yet, but uh, most of it. But I mounted the cartouche uh, yesterday, and uh, it's uh, sitting up top there and looks pretty good from here. So from a construction standpoint, we're done. I need to uh, finish putting on the hardware, then take it off, and then uh, begin sanding and finishing. Well, this is part of the cleanup that has to be done. I'm going to sand it down to uh, 180. This is a 150 grit. And I had done some pre-sanding before I put it together. This actually is pretty good. I'm working on uh, putting the locks in the two drawers that I have to uh, put them in to match the uh, original. And uh, I got these from Horton Brass, so uh, they're nice really nice uh, locks and what I did is I made a template out of a piece of cardboard as you can see there and traced it the uh, pin is uh, dead center on the drawer front and I believe it's an inch and an eighth from the top so um, what I did uh, with once I had the template on there is of course trace around it uh, so that I had some lines and then I used my uh, router plane here, hand routing plane here to uh, create the uh, opening as well as uh, this small recess uh, that there is around here. Now I've still got to take off the front uh, to let it slide all the way back but uh, as I used the uh, router plane I was able to of course turn the lock over and then feel for the the depth so we've got that set so now i've got to take about a sixteenth of an off uh, inch off the top there and then uh, be able to to press it uh, to end up where where the hole uh, belongs and drill that and then of course put the escutcheon and uh, cut out the keyhole for the front well this is a board that i've just sprayed with the grain raising uh, die and it's uh, a mixture of uh, two different uh, dyes but I kind of like the color of it and I've uh, rubbed it off with a, a white uh, pad uh, so that it's it's an even color Well, after uh, one, one coat of spray uh, shellac, I put blonde on it. Uh, it looks absolutely terrible, but that's uh, pretty typical. Uh, so the parts of the cherry that are more porous took more um, of the uh, shellac and uh, soaked it in. And the parts that were more dense, the, the shellac set up on top. So that's why you see dark patches and light patches on it. And of course, uh, the way I spray, I've got a bit of, I don't know if you can hear that, that's unsanded, and that's sanded. So I'm knocking off the dust nubs and the orange peel and the overspray and whatever there is. Uh, again, I tried to do it as good as I can do, but... So I've got some 400 grit sandpaper here, and uh, we're scuff sanding it. So that means I have no pressure at all on the sandpaper and you don't want to see any color 
on the sandpaper uh, because then you're not sanding shellac anymore you're sanding the color off and we don't want that and uh, you just go over it lightly till it's smooth again and then we'll be ready for another coat Well, we're in the home stretch here, um, so I'm applying wax now to the uh, upper chest and lower chest. The upper chest is done. I'll zoom in here a little bit. And uh, so we had four coats of sprayed shellac on there. And then uh, what I did is I rubbed it out uh, with uh, scotch pads and uh, wax at the same time and then uh, rubbed it out which evens it out so I'll show you what I'm doing here I'm just finishing off the legs this upper part has been done and um, uh, the quarter column has not been done and the legs haven't been done yet so what we're gonna do here is demonstrate a little bit about what I've been doing so I got this dark wax it's almost black it's real real dark brown called special dark min wax and I think it's you know there's a lot of of uh, companies out there that make colored waxes I think it's just about as good as others so why are we work using a dark wax on this thing to take the sheen off because when it dries, white, uh, regular wax, the light stuff, leaves white. And we don't like to see little white tracks in, in the corners that you can never get out. So that's why we use dark wax. And it doesn't make it that much darker, hardly at all, because you're going to rub it right off and just leave the slippery undercoat about where there's little nicks and dents where the wax collects it's dark which matches the uh, darker finish that we have on here so with this uh, scotch pad this is their gray one which I think is closer to 4 aught steel wool than their white one and um, so it does a nice job of uh, taking the sheen off of it and getting it down to where we want and then I apply the wax at the same time well it's completed and I can't get back far enough in the shop here to get a full full shot of it all at one time but uh, there we have it I'll zoom in here a little bit and then we'll scan down. So uh, it came out, I like the color and uh, it certainly tested my skills and uh, abilities here. I learned a lot and so this completes uh, this project and on to the next one.